Hello, Internet Aliens. My name is Josh, aka Ultra Player, welcoming you to my team builder for week four of the PML season four. Your New York Metagross are currently one and two, coming off a pretty okay, pretty good win last week against the Miami Heat Rams and their modest Mega Agron. Um, this week we are taking on the Miss Dalton City Mandibuzz and Coach Sneaky Spiriting. And his team is below me. I didn't hide it. Um, it does show Ursaring and Trevenant with week six next to it, but that is not his team for this week, clearly. He made some free agencies. Uh, instead of Ursaring, he has Golurk, and instead of Trevenant, he has Go Goat. So, things to note. Um, his team is very scary, but it has some common weaknesses that I plan to exploit. Hmm. <sighs> He has an Excadrill, one of the best mods in this format. Uh, very high HP, high attack, decent speed. Um, good under sand, but he doesn't really have a sand setter, which is something to note. Molt can set up rocks, uh, can rapid spin, earthquake, rock slide, X scissor, poison jab. Uh, I expect a choice card set, but I'm not really too worried about it. If I do have answers for it, plenty of answers. Like, I don't even expect him to bring it, because I have Skarmory, I have Mega Blastoise, I have a Tangrowth, I have. Um, Latios, which kind of handles it, can kind of handle it to an extent. I have Claydol, which can kind of handle it to an extent. Mail Tank, like... I have so many reasons to not... He has so many reasons not to bring it. <clears throat> he has a Magnezone, which is a very scary threat to my team, just because it can trap my Skarmory. You'll see we plan for that. Um, can Volt Switch around, to, and kind of scary just because it beats my Mamoswine. Claydol, it can kind of handle, but not too well, depending on what set he runs. If he runs Magnet Rise, I know I'm going to be in trouble with that. But I do have answers for that as well, if he's not Scarfed. He has a Tornadus Incarnate, a um, Defiant Attacker, so I have to be careful about clicking Defog while that thing is around. With my Skarmory, or with my Latios, or anything, really. Not the biggest threat around, does get coverage, but he uh, suffers from 4th Move Syndrome. And I can also take advantage of this mon by. <clears throat> that tip was going to take advantage. I had a way of taking advantage. I don't remember. Oh, that's right. I'm not bringing Scolipede, so I can't take advantage. Um, he is kind of a threat, but I do have one mons that can wall it. Like, I know he's going to want, like, five moves. And I know no matter what, he's going to be. I'm going to be able to wall him with something. I do expect him. However,. Like, I think he might not bring it just because of Umbreon, but he could pack a fighting move, but then he won't be able to pack Heat Wave for Skarmory, or Grass Knot for Mega Blastoise, or Hurricane for Stab, etc. Very hard mon for him to plant, or, um, uh, use. Me and Chow. He likes to run Scarf Me and Chow, which is very good because that's a lot easily easier to handle with my team. Life or Me and Chow kind of just destroyed everything, and I don't have good solutions to it. Um, I do have ways I'm planning to take it down, but that's all I can do. I don't really have too much for it. I'm not bringing Scolipede, and I'm not bringing Latios to outspeed it. So I'm going to have to be very careful when I'm uh, up against that. Mm. Depending on what he does brings and doesn't bring, I'll determine what I can use to sack. I don't have any water in here. Not good water. And I'm yawning a lot, sorry. Uh, Meloetta. Very strong special attacker, but I have plenty of answers for it. Um, can run self calm high, but I did plan for that. He can run offensive with uh, pirouette form, which I did plan for. Spec scarf is a very dangerous mod, and I've faced it many times in the past, and it's always been scary. Got to watch out for that. Golurk, he's dropping it, so I don't know if he's actually going to want to use it or not. But it is very scary. Like offensively, it can do a lot of work. Defensively, it can wall my scolipede, so. That's something I had to think about. Uh, can set up Salt Rocks, has access to Dynamic Punch, which is always an issue. Does not make any antsy, which is a pretty fast mod. Good, good, really good in this format. Actually, really underrated in this format. Um, not too much of a threat, because I do have Skarmory, I do have Mill Tank. Both to Wallet, so. Mm. Volcanian. Oh, Mega Dance, you can uh, also set up Rock Polish, which is something I thought about, but ultimately I'm not really scared of Mega Dance. I have plenty of checks to it. 
Volcanion is a very, very dangerous Pokemon in this kind of format, but luckily for me, I do have one of the best answers to it in Mega Blastoise. Being able to press, uh, being able to use my set to take it on, not really too scared of it. If it brings it, perfect. He might bring it just because it two shots almost everything on my team other than Latios and Mega Blastoise. He's a Quagsire, which is a very threatening thing for me to have to plan for. Very obnoxious thing for me to have to plan for just because I'm unaware, making it really hard for some of my mons to be able to set up and just plow through a scene. I do think he might bring it just for Sculpey, for um, Leechy Berry, Hitmonlee, for Nasty Plot Simmies here, even though it's Grass Knot, for a lot of stuff. If he doesn't bring it, I'm going to be really, really happy because of one of my sets. Venomoth is probably the thing I plan for the least. Although I did plan for it. Um, like, it can put in a lot of work, depending on its set. Like, a lot of people under, like, underrate Venomoth. But it's seriously super scary if it starts getting Quiver Dances off. Um, I do have a couple mods that can reliably check it, and one that can basically counter it. I don't think I'll bring it just because of Skarmory, because I do four times resist it. Even with Tinted Lens, I only two times resist it, so it's hard for him to beat it. So I don't really expect it, but... I mean, if Skarmory goes down, he might bring Magnezone plus Venomoth just to break through my entire team. But I still have Skullabeat in the back that could handle it. Well, so he thinks. And then finally, he has a Go-Go. Another thing that he dropped uh, is typically runs a bulk up set, can run Life Offensive with Life Orb. Not too threatening, because I have like five answers to it. So, let's get into what we are bringing... The first thing I noticed is that switching to Hitmonlee does not exist. This set actually just blows them away. Life Orb Reckless, we are bringing it again. Uh, I cannot fit Close Combat on here. I wanted to so bad. I wanted to put Close Combat on here so bad. But I couldn't. Um, I needed coverage. <sighs> I have High Jump Kick, which nukes Excadrill, nukes Magnezone. Uh, I never really calc it versus Tornadoes, but I'm going to do that now. Okay, great. No switchings. Nukes Tornadus, Nukes Me and Chow, Nukes Meloetta, Nukes everything. Like, other than Venomoth. A defensive Venomoth could come just to handle it. I don't know if this water is good, but I'm going to drink it. Tastes weird. Still good. Mm, needed that. His Venomoth is basically the only thing that can really take a high jump kick. That and Golurk. Um, if I don't see any of those two, Hitmonlee just comes out. Comes out every time it does, something dies. High Jump Kick just nukes everything. Knock Off is for that Go Look Knock Off. It also gets rid of items, which is very good. If for some reason I can knock off me and Chow's Life Orb, if it brings that, I will be so ecstatic. Um, no, uh, Mach Punch is for the Excadrill and the Magnetone, like Scarf things that get out of control. And Bullet Punch is for the Mega Dancy. It destroys it. It's like 150%, which is great. I have enough speed for a Max Speed Volcanion. And then I was able to run Adamant. I could have run for a couple of uh, enough speed for a couple other things, but I really feel like I mean Meloetta, Venomoth. I really feel like he'll run um, uh, Excadrill. All three of those. I feel like we're running faster than him only anyway. So no point in really doing anything. <sighs> so I looked at more and more with my team. I really thought that uh, I could use an answer to the. Mega DNC, and this set is actually really good. I don't have Defog. I did have Defog on here originally, but I, ultimately I decided against it because he only hazard he has is rocks, and I'm not really bringing any rock weak mons. Like, I can handle rocks very well. This is also my stealth rocker. It beats Mega DNC with Iron Head, Okoze, unless he's like max physical defense. I don't take any. Um, with this spread, I do not get too hit by Mega DNC. Which is good, but I also have a secondary check, so that's always good. This also handles Meloetta to an extent. Um, if he still call mine, that's kind of scary. I thought I had Warwind on here, honestly. Why did I have Toxic for Quag? What the hell is that? Alright, cool. Loud noises. Whatever. Um, I did want Whirlwind on here. I thought I had Whirlwind. This is the first up call mind. Mmm, so obnoxious though. Meloetta is just a problem. 
Anyway. Depending on what it's set, though. That'll be good. We'll determine that. My end goal is getting a toxic off on Quagsire. This also lets me keep um, submons like Venomoth and Meloetta from setting up on me. I have a Shed Shell. I really wanted leftovers, but I know he's bringing Magnapole Mag uh, Magnazone just to trap me. So I need this to be able to switch out. The good thing is, the first time he d this happens, unless he's like really real and goes for Flash Cannon immediately, I can go straight out into uh, Mammoth Swine and just Earthquake, get a free Earthquake off. His team will be very, is very weak to that, and that's what the next thing I noticed was was that Mammoth Swine actually destroys him. Um, I'm not running Stealth Rock this time, clearly, but that's because coverage, I just destroy it. I don't need Stealth Rock. I, I don't want Stealth Rock on this team because I need the coverage, which is good because it blows my Earthquake, hits Excadrill, hits Magnazone, hits Volcanion. Best move to hit Venomoth, hits Mega Nancy. I sure, just for priority, stuff like Tornadus. If it gets out of control, I believe I do like 60%. Freeze Dry with 32. Freeze Dry with the investment given, even with a job in nature. I do Oko, the physically defensive Quagsire, which is really good. And Icicle Crash is just uh, there for the rest of his mods, like Golark and Tornadus. Um, I have enough speed again for Volcanion. With uh, 32 EVs and HP and 16 in special defense, that means Life Orb will be doing as the least amount of damage possible. And so the rest just goes into special defense and then max attack. I have my Mega Blastoise here, coming with a defense, specially defensive, mostly specially defensive set. Uh, enough speed so I don't get speed crept, and then the special defense means I don't get two hit KO'd by HP uh, Specs HP Grass. If he is Specs and he does go for HP Grass. I will know, based on the damage, and I can switch out accordingly. Like, if he predicts me going after Mega Blastoise, goes for Specs HP Grass. If he's Life Orb HP Grass, I don't get two KO'd after Rocks. But if he Specs, then I can go out to like literally anything else, and I can proceed to do work depending on what I'm trying to do. Um. Skull, Toxic, Rest, Sleep Talk. Uh, I did, like, I, I almost put Toxic on, like, almost everything for that Quagsire. That Quagsire is the most annoying thing, and you'll see why. Um, I, like, but I only wanted enough for, to not get the 2k by Spectate to Grass, because nothing else really touches me with that thing. This thing also handle, can take a hit from Excadrill, which is good. It can take, I believe it takes a Grass Knife from Tornado's Eye. And I can Scald that, Toxic it, whatever I want. Depending on what I see. Um... Takes a hit from Mega Dancy. Uh, takes, I believe, takes a hit from me and Chef. Oh, wait, I got a dog. Mm -hmm. Her name is Pancakes. After my stout one. So, yeah, um, Toxic is just to wear down Volcano and just rest sleep talk, and that's the only way I really have to beat it. I could have brought Latios, and now I'm starting to think about Latios, actually. Hmm. Why didn't I bring Latios in the slot? It beats Quagsire. This beats Quagsire too. So can Latios. Hmm. There's a reason I had Mega Blast Toys. Why did I have it? To keep from being weak to Mega Nancy? We might just change this to Latios right now. EQ. That'd be interesting. So I'm trying to think why. This can count. That was something else. Versus Ladius. Oh, these HP Ice. These HP Ice, that would be amazing. But I had to run, like, max speed, too. I couldn't really do it. Whatever. We'll keep... No, that's right, because... I had to run, like, max speed for stuff like DNC and... Me and Shadow and stuff. Mm. Do 
But if he's HV Ice, I mean, he's not Specs if he's like a Life Orb. Mm, I want to be running. Then I'll lose that on Toxic again, which is bad. Oh, Mega Blastoise. Adios. Mega Blastoise, Latios, Mega Blastoise, Latios. What would he bring? Would he bring HP Ice? Oh, yes, also gives me that secondary check to deep me and Chow. How much is Draco switching? Excadrill. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna change this to Latios, actually. It might come back to bite me in the butt. But this gives me a good check to um, me and Chow as well. Side shock. Oh. Almost want to cue. For the magnet. For the drill. Surf Drake, it now roost. Huh. Draco Dragon Pulse. You can use extra drill free switchings, but again, I have many, many ways and all extra drill. Alright, so we're gonna go max HP. Enough speed for me and Chow, which is 212. If there's so much planning in leagues, I know that immediately. Cobalberry to better handle it. Better handle the me and Chow. Oh, 216. Look at four more points than I thought. Power. Alright, cool. So we're gonna bring in Latios instead to handle that thing. Uh, again, Toxic. I want Toxic on something, so I can wear down Quag. Like, I have to wear down Quag. Next thing we have is a Tangrowth, which is a good switch into Quag. Um, this actually... Let me make sure I'm right. Other than Tornadoes Incarnate, this thing hits everything on his team super effectively. With this, um... Set. I have enough Spadef with Assault Blast to handle... I know I handle Magnazone. I definitely handle Quag. Um, wait, why do I have all this for death? <laughs> Maybe 20 SI. Maybe two Specs Flash Cannons. That could be it. Whatever. I can take a hit from me and Chow as well. Scarf me and Chow does not 2 KO me. Which is really nice. Mm. God, my insights are killing me, guys. Uh, with Giga Drain, I can stay healthy against... Quacksire, Choice Lock, Volcanion into the a good move. Hit Golurk, hit do decent damage to Excadrill, to Mega Deancy, Earthquake, hits Excadrill, Magnazone, Mega Deancy, Volcanion. Uh, God, I'm dying. Um, knockoff hits Meloetta, hits Golurk, hits Tornadoes on the Switch, which is really nice. Gets rid of items, which I need. Aerial Lace hits the Venomoth, the Gogo, -Go, and the Manchow. Which is really good. Uh, if I get rid of a life for me and Chow, if I get rid of if I get rid of Quag, guys, if I get rid of Quag, I win. Which is really nice. Like if I get rid of Quag and I get a few, um, you'll see, uh, I just win. Well, that's this set. Finally, we have thanks to um, Jake who suggested this set. I did have a skull. I did have Skullipede in this last slot with um, Poison Jab, Mega Horn, EQ, Protect, and then like Max Speed, Max Attack. I like tornadoes. I instead have a curse milk tank with milk drink, body slam, and EQ. If I get rid of Quagsire, this thing blows him away. Absolutely destroys him. Which is nice. I wanted to run Curse Umbreon, but I couldn't because of Mega DNC. Someone actually suggested Curse Umbreon too, and I was like, um, Mega DNC. They're like, how much does it do? And I'm like, 55 min. Reasons why Umbreon is not here. 
I almost actually did bring Umbreon with HP Steel, which would have been really fire. Um, but yeah, this set destroys him. Uh, at plus one, I do not die to a Life Orb Manchat or Life Orb Meloetta Pirouette form. Since uh, stab attacks. Well, a Choice Scarf Manchat or a Life Orb Meloetta. Uh, Life Orb Manchat to be a plus two, and I live it. And then I can fire off Body Slams. I just destroy his team. If Tornado Eye has Life Orb Focus Blast, well, that's an issue. But I had to scout his team before Miltank will actually just start hitting things. Quagsire is the ultimate wall. Um, I wanted to run a really cool, uh, I wanted to run Natural Gift Leechy Berry, which is, uh, Grass, which would have hit Mega Deancey if I wanted, Golur, Quagsire, but then I calc it versus Quagsire, and I did 49. So if he brings water, but if he brings Water Absorb, that's amazing. So, that's that, uh, just, and I have enough speed, the 16 speed is not for speed crap. So this 16 speed means I outspeed a modest, max speed Volcanion, which I do expect him to bring. If he brings Timid, one, I wall it a lot, lot, lot easier. Um, but I do expect him to ring Modest. There's no speed tier he really needs to hit with um, Timid unless he's afraid of a max speed Skarmory or Umbreon. So there's that. So that is my team. I do have to battle him in like 10 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you tomorrow for the battle.